don't know what number weekend vlog it is. <laughs> hey guys, it's weekend vlog number 24 or 25, I don't really remember. This is the last weekend vlog that I'm going to do on this channel. I've decided that I'm going to do a separate channel for vlogs because many reasons. Um, at first I was like very, I don't know, I was determined that I wanted it all in one place just to make it easier because then everyone would know there's just like one place to find all of my videos but I don't know I just changed my mind so anyway this is going to be the official last weekend vlog for this channel I love doing vlogs but I think that I just need to keep the answers more like beauty style fashion you know what it's been for the past four years and then kind of just do vlogs off to the side and I think the people that really care about vlogs are gonna go subscribe to that channel um, I haven't officially decided because I haven't started the channel yet, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to be Leanne Vlogs because that makes sense. And you're laughing at me, why? I'm not laughing at you. Ooh. <laughs> hair's all poofy in the bun. But I'll definitely link that channel down below if you want to subscribe to it. We're officially going inside McDonald's. This is a bleak time in our lives. <laughs> I like how you're like this morning. I'm gonna get dressed really fast. I decided not to. I decided I wanted to look good because I'm gonna do fun stuff today. <laughs> what did you get? It's like a wrap. Trying to be healthy at McDonald's. And then, of course, Mighty Kids meal. Yes. And I got it for a girl, so I got a toy. Buttercream Sunday. I can get that for Tammy. Double fries because I'm an unhealthy Mighty Kid. Deal with it. This song. It's just song. That song is done. What, the story of my life? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's just like that one part, and I feel like, I, like whenever I hear it, I hear like, I see like horses galloping. I don't know why, they're like jumping over water and stuff. But it's not like the story of a horse life. <laughs> so I don't know, this makes sense. That's the story of your life? It's just horses jumping in water. My life just flashed before my eyes. It was just horses jumping through water. <laughs> so, big life event. On Friday, I closed on my house, and I think after this, after I drop off Alan, I'm gonna go try to get my keys and hopefully show you the house. So, it's a potentially exciting afternoon until you meet in the, Leanne's life. Until you meet the ghost that lives there. Until I meet the ghost, which we'll meet the ghost together. Why not? It's a ghost tour. Here's a story. <laughs> This is when play fighting goes wrong. So maybe I might have been like playfully maybe about to bite Alan. And he decided that he was gonna like put my hand in my own mouth. And it all went wrong because he doesn't know how strong he is. And my lip is busted and it looks like I maybe have some kind of disease, which is really personally upsetting to me. And it looks really gross, but the lipstick is kind of camouflaging it. I he didn't it, mean to do it, but he definitely did it. Beautiful. I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. So right now I'm super excited because I'm going to try to go over to my house. Like that is so weird to say, my house, um, because I closed on it on Friday and I haven't gotten the keys yet. So I'm going to try to pick up the keys and hopefully do like a little empty house tour and show you what it all looks like because I know like whenever I was first looking at the house I showed you like a little sped up version or whatever but this time I can like take some time and like show you room by room so I think that would be cool. Ta-da! I officially have keys to this door. Yay! Dun dun dun! All right, so I don't really know if this is something people do. I apologize for that. Go, this place is completely empty. And I'm so self-conscious that I got hurt on my lip and don't, don't look at it. I know you're looking at it, stop it. Anyway, I'm going to give you a tour of my new 
empty home. I've never done any kind of house tour, home tour, apartment tour, anything like that. Hopefully I will do an apartment tour before I move out, even though it's, I don't know if y'all even care anymore. Let me know if you do. But for all of you guys that have gone on my little house hunting journey with me through my vlogs, thank you so much. I love you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy this little tour, even though it's completely empty. All right, so if you don't know, it is a townhome and it's two stories and this is just right inside the front door. These are the stairs here and this is the entry. We have a little hall closet situation. I guess it's just for storage situation plus coat closet, whatever it is, I don't know. But I love it like I love everything else. Um, okay, so this is the main living slash dining room and the ceilings are pretty high, which I really like. That spot on the ceiling right there, right there, it was caused because I asked them to put in a light right there because I want to put a chandelier above the dining room table, which I'm envisioning would be right here. Um, and they put it a little too far over. So I asked them to move it back over and it's that's where that little lighting cap is. So hopefully that looks normal at some point. I might have to paint over that. So this is that big area. There's the front door again. And then over here is the kitchen. This is kind of like a low breakfast bar kind of situation, I think. And so I'll get like really low bar stools. And this is my little kitchen. And this is where my little refrigerator's going. And I'm so ridiculously excited about all these little things right now. I don't even know what's gotten into me. This is like so not me, but I'm into it. Here is my palm tree. Whoa, that was kind of sticky. And I guess I have extra paint in there. And it's like, why, what am I even gonna put up there? It's like way too much space. And then uh, there's like under the cabinet lights here, which I really like. And then out these doors is my tiny little, like it's not even a backyard. You guys are totally gonna laugh. It's, it's like nothing, but it's perfect for me because I do not need a backyard, not even a little bit. So here's my little, patio area and there are townhomes right behind me so there are neighbors like one foot away right now and then this is my tiny little patch of grass which is just enough for me I don't want to keep up with a bunch of yard that is just not my life right now so going back in because it is really really hot today not even funny I'm not even Upset that I'm not at the music festival today. Okay, so coming over here, this is my garage. This is like the mudroom area, which I never thought I would need. Apparently that's an exciting thing to have. I never knew that. Ew, I feel gross about having that open. I don't know why. Weird thing to be self-conscious about. This is like just a little half bath powder room area. It's just a little tiny bathroom. Tra la la. All right, and so that's pretty much it for the downstairs. I like it. I'm trying to like turn on all the lights even though it's daytime. All right, and moving upstairs. There was an option to get wood stairs, but ugh, I just didn't feel like I could spend the money even though I would definitely rather have wood stairs. And then this is the little landing area. And it looks back on the laundry room. These are the other rooms. And this is the master bedroom. And there are like double doors, but they are completely open. The ceiling is, I think that's called like a vaulted ceiling. I don't really know, but it's pretty high and smoke alarm. Boom, neighbors, yet again. I know some people definitely could not deal with the whole townhome situation because you're so close to your neighbors, but to be perfectly honest with you, I do not care at all because I've been in an apartment forever, so I'm actually further away from neighbors than I used to be. This is the master bathroom. Woo, that works. Hello. There is a big smudge on the mirror. Very nice. Um, it's got double sinks. Lots of cabinets. The countertops are pretty high, which I really like because I'm tall. It has a gigantic tub, which would probably take 50 million gallons of water to fill. The window here has kind of a film on it, which 
I'm kind of on the fence about, but I guess you kind of have to have that because it's the bathroom. And then here is the shower. It's enormous, which I'm very excited about because my shower now is so tiny and sad. I feel like that shower head is a little bit tiny for all of this shower, but I am totally not complaining. Now here is the little bathroom area. It's super tiny. Like if I close this door, I'm gonna feel like I'm in a little jail cell. And then here is the closet, which I'm so excited about. Not that it is a whole lot bigger than my current closet. My current closet is kind of disgustingly huge, but this one is disgustingly huger. I don't know, that was probably a disgusting thing to say, but I'm very excited about all of this storage space. This is perfect for me. Like I felt like I was sold on it right when I saw that. I fell in love. Now moving out of the master bedroom. We can go down this little mini hallway to the laundry room, which doesn't seem like it would be exciting, but after looking at a lot of houses, I found that the laundry room situation was pretty bleak in a lot of them. So having all of this space and actually having like a door where I could just like completely shut off this area is really, really helpful. And now moving along, I'm trying not to make this like the shakiest vlog ever because I know y'all hate that. And here is the other bathroom. It's like really dark in here. I had them put in another extra light up here and hopefully that will help a lot. So there's like a big shower, one sink, and this is for the other two bedrooms. Here is the first extra bedroom. Why is it so blue in here? Whoa, okay, there's the lighting. So this is the first secondary bedroom. Here's the closet, pretty good on storage. And it's got a ceiling fan, pretty high ceilings in here, but it's a pretty basic small room. And then here is the other secondary bedroom. And this one's actually smaller. The window is smaller, the ceiling is a little lower, but the closet is still pretty nice. One of these rooms is going to be my new recording room, which is very exciting to think about. And here is another extra, extra room. I don't even know what to call it. It has some little double doors on it and there are no windows in here, which is kind of depressing and it doesn't have a closet either. It was called a flex room on the floor plan whenever I was looking at it. And I guess I could turn this into like an office. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be great. All right, trying to turn off the lights, being an irresponsible adult. I don't know, I feel like way too adult right now and it's really freaking me out, you guys. How do I turn those lights? There are like too many light switches right here. Ah, there we go, let there be light. I posted an Instagram on Friday because I was so super happy whenever I closed on the house and I was like, ah, I finally closed on my house and everyone was saying congratulations and thank you so much you guys because y'all make me feel so special and I don't know, it just like makes my day when you guys support me. And, uh, but so many people were like, now it's the fun part, you get to decorate. And I'm like, no, like that part, it just, it really overwhelms me. And even more than that, the part where I have to like switch over the electricity and do the cable and internet and all that stuff, like that is super, super overwhelming to me because it's just, ugh. And it actually, I've already had problems because this is a new construction. And so it's like not showing up on a lot of the maps and stuff. So it's just kind of already a hassle, which stinks, but still not complaining. I'm super happy and super excited. And I feel like it was like really cool that I got to like take you guys along on the whole process and then now we're here. And obviously there's still a lot to be done. I have to move in. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna move in next weekend or the next weekend. Um, when we did the walkthrough and everything, oh my gosh, it was so hectic. There were a lot of problems, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but we did successfully do the second walkthrough the day before I closed. And there's only one thing on the list that they need to fix before I move in. And it's like the floors. Like, I'm sick of hearing myself talk about it. Like there's so much to do. Like getting the granite sealed, like who knew you even needed to do that? And, oh, and I'm getting blinds because 
I'm gonna need some serious blinds with all these neighbors like right around me. So yeah, it's a lot to do. I'm freaked out, but I'm super excited. And and I really hope I have you guys support in um, making an extra channel for my vlogs. And I'm pretty sure, I'm hoping like right when I go home today, I'm gonna try to create the Leanne Vlogs channel. Hopefully no one else has that channel. If they do, I'm gonna cry, um, but we'll see what it is. I'll be putting it on the screen so you guys can go subscribe if you wanna keep watching more vlogs. I don't know if it's just gonna continue to be weekend vlogs. There might be like other vlogs that I'll be able to do. It'll obviously be like a little bit more of like a casual channel or I like won't like worry about having like I don't know. Not that I worry about like being a perfectionist on my main channel, this channel. Um, but I just, I don't know. I think I'll be able to like more casually just like throw stuff up there because I won't have as many subscribers. And I'll know that the people that go and subscribe to my vlog channel really care about like seeing my life and stuff like that. And so hopefully you guys are down for that. I know that some of you guys will be and I love you guys. My arm is getting really, really, really tired right now. <laughs> Ew, and I think my lipstick is like betraying me. <sighs> when I ramble, my lipstick gets weird Ugh, and my lip hurts. Ouch. I really should not complain about that because he feels so bad. Like, like right after he got out of the car, he texted me and he was like, I'm so sorry. And he feels so bad and I, now in turn, I feel really bad because I feel like I kind of tortured him a little bit too much over it. So will be fine. All right, so I guess that's it for my empty home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Please go subscribe to my new channel. I really hope you guys are down for seeing more vlogs because I really do love making them. And I guess that's it. So I love you. Thank you. Bye. I don't want to lose that kind of like smokiness. So I'm just going back in with one of the brushes. I didn't add any product, but I'm just kind of like trying to smoke that out. I don't want it to be like a like super clean line.